All right, we got Lorenzo Neal here at Fallbrook High School. Yes. Uh, Lorenzo, why are you here? Why are there? Uh, why are you here coaching little kids? What, 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 what's what's the excitement about uh, helping the next generation? Well, I think it's always about paying it forward. Anytime a guy named Doug Burgess calls, when Doug calls me, I answer, right, Doug? When Doug calls, I answer. So there's, I was trying to get Doug involved. But anyways, no, it's, uh, it, it's about when you have good friends and good opportunities to help people, and Doug has been known for 15, 20 years now, and what he's doing in Fallbrook is just amazing. Just the feeder program to be able to help the high school kids and the Pee Wee kids and the Pot Warner. It's always a cycle of life. And you look at, the, you know, the cycle of life, it's like you, you want to continue to grow. And that's what Doug's doing. He's getting these five, six, seven, eight, nine, you name it. And that's what it's about, getting them all together. And especially the world we live in, kids are not outside and not, you know, don't understand about team concept anymore. And I think this is great. So I love coming out to Fallbrook. Doug does a great job. And just being able to talk to the parents and these student, these kids and student athletes and, and be able to talk to them, even they're five, six years old. And just to be able to relate and be able to say, hey, wow, appreciate your tell the parents first appreciate them for bringing their kids out here you know on a Saturday they can be doing so much other things with their their Saturday but this is great I enjoy it what's your message to a kid when he's like Lorenzo how can I be how can I be in the NFL how can I get there what do I need to do yeah I just tell them my thing is a hey, hard work pays off I tell them all the time I said the will to win means nothing without the will to prepare and that's it uh, there's a lot of kids now and you get it and there's from adults and we can't just say kids adults and just the world we live in it's instant gratification I can do this on a PlayStation on a game I can go and I you know they can play PlayStation they win and they think that that can translate to the field and they think that that really works and it doesn't there's no substitute for hard work so the message to me is there's no substitute of hard work and that pays off CDC choices decisions and consequences and that's simple and that's any sport you have to put in time and so this is what this is about so my message just to these kids these young ladies that are out here the boys that are out here it's like you know what you have to trust the process and that is hard work that's determination that's being consistent and persistent and if you want success that's the only remedy, and that's the only way you can have success. So that's my message. Lorenzo, right around uh, this time, obviously, is, is kind of the down period in the NFL, the month and a half off yeah. before guys get back. What was this month and a half off like for you? I mean, as an athlete, as a former NFL player, what is this? what are these guys going to experience this next month and a half? Oh, yeah, this next month and a half for these Charger players, and you see the different players, the acquisitions that they made, and, and what are they doing for this month and a half before they go to training camp? This is the time that you grow. This is a time that I was working not once, not twice, but sometimes three. Once, twice, three times. I mean, I, this is the time that you grind. And, and it, it, for me, it was like, okay, man, in the mornings, I knew that I was doing my heavy lifting. In the mid-afternoon in Fresno, you know, I'm running in the 110, 100, 110 degrees weather. Back at the gym at night, you know, for another, you know, stretching and doing those things. So this is the time a lot of guys make a lot of gains during this particular time. This month and a half, it's not time for vacation and separate from football. This is the time that you press this is time that you push so really really excited uh, we see a Justin Herbert jersey out there on the field uh, what, do, what do you think about uh, about that and how do you feel like they're gonna uh, how do you feel like that your former team is gonna do this year yeah I love Justin Herbert I watch this guy mature and watching the way that he's taking on the league and the things that he's he's an elite quarterback this is a guy believe it or not in my opinion top five top seven I think I think he's more than it's higher than the top ten so if you, I, for me, without a doubt, and I'm not just being biased, I think mechanics and the way he throws the ball and the athletic ability and things that he brings to the game, this without a doubt, no question, is a top 10 quarterback and elite quarterback in this league. And the Chargers got a steal in Justin Herbert. And not just that, he's progressing into a leader. And he's going to be the face of this franchise for a long time. But the thing about it is he is in a league where there's a guy named Patrick Mahomes. There's a, you know, of course, you know, Russell Wilson had a bad year last year. It's going to be interesting to see now with Sean Payton in Denver. How do they, you know, how does, how does that turn into a better season than what they had you look you know you look around the Raiders and what are they doing brought in Jimmy G you know is that an upgrade people say ah good maybe it's a lateral move so when you think about the AFC you know West it's gonna be tough 
But right now, to me, in my opinion, it's about the Chargers in Kansas City. I think it's a two-man two race, and it's going to be interesting to see what Denver does. But uh, it, it's always, you know, football, man, it, it's always exciting time, and, and I think people are anticipating. Everyone thinks that their team's going to be great. But I think the Chargers have some t talent. Offensively-wise, you know they have some talent. They have receivers. They went out in the draft and, and upgraded for Justin Herbert. The biggest thing we understand, do you know, and you know what Eckler can do, but do they have that guy? Do they have that mill? Do they have that bell cow that's four yards in a cloud of dust? Eckler's a guy that in receiver, you know that he's good out of the backfield. He can have the home run hit. But is he that guy that's going to give you four yards in a cloud of dust consistency? Is he that chain mover? And that's what the Chargers are probably lacking because Eckler's a great back, but that's that physicality that, they, that they're lacking. And then on the defensive side of the ball, you know you got the Derwin James, you got some safeties, you got guys, you know you got the Bosa, and you got, you know, uh, Khalil Mack. You got some pass rushers, but these guys are getting a little older. You, who's going to come in and step in and play, you know, on those those first and second down for those guys can be fresh on third down? So you look at the Chargers and you always say, look, they have a chance, but there's still some question marks. Lorenzo, last question. You you get on this football field and you get juiced again. Do you, oh, I, oh, you, you see me. Excited? Oh, you see me moving. I'm ready. You see how pretty I'm looking, pretty in the face and slim in the waist. I think I'm coming out of retirement, baby. We put me in the game, coach. Put me in the game. Um, put me in the game. But no, the juices always flow.